Uh, yeah, let's talk about reduce. Um, this isn't the best example of explaining reduce. Um, mainly because there's a lot, there's like tricky stuff going on here. The, the, um, the, be the easiest example of reduce is summing the values in an array. So like if I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, and I want to uh, calculate the sum of all the values here, um, it works like so. So reduce accepts a function. The first parameter is the accumulator. That's the thing that you're building up. The second parameter is going to be each value inside of the array. And then um, uh, you can also have an initial value. So if I'm summing up all the values in this array, the initial value is 0. And then on each iteration, I want to say um, sum plus equals value. Now, this function gets called on every single value in the array. So if I want the next invocation to have the, the, the current running sum, I need to return sum here. Um, by returning it, that makes it so that in the next invocation, sum is equal to the previous value. So basically, sum is accumulating as we move along. So initially, sum is 0 on the first invocation, and value is 1. And then the sum becomes 1. We return sum. And then sum is 1, and the value is 2. Then we add that. That gives us 3, and we return 3. And then sum is 3, and the value is 3. We add those, we get 6. We return 6. Sum is 6. The value is 4. Uh, we add those, that gives us 10. Sum is 10. The value is 5. That gives us 15, and then we're done. Is that right? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We did it. So <laughs> that's how that works. Now, however, uh, I bet you, like, how much do you want to bet right now there's somebody in the chat telling me that I could write this as a one liner? Tell them to calm down because we're beginners. And <laughs> writing it as a one-liner would not have helped that explanation. But uh, those people are absolutely right. Uh, we actually can just write this like this. We can actually say um, sum plus value, like that. And then also, because these are numbers, we actually don't need an initial value either. So we could just write it like this. But would I, would I have been able to explain the accumulator and the fact that it gets passed into the next invocation with this one? Probably not. This just, just looks like mumbo-jumbo. But this works in exactly the same way. Hopefully that helped.